edition of the CEO Tour, where I get to chat with some amazing business owners uh, in fitness, in yoga, in boutique fitness, all of that. Uh, we're so, so excited to be doing this. And today we have a, a really special guest with me. Uh, it's Nancy from Yoga Light Studio. And the amazing thing about Nancy is actually she's probably about 30 minutes, 20 minutes away from, from where I live. And uh, it's amazing, amazing. And actually one of our uh, onboarding specialists and now product manager is a yoga uh, instructor at Nancy's studio. So tell me about, you know, how you got into, how you got into yoga, first of all, and then what made you take that next step and open up a, a yoga practice, a business? So I had wanted to try yoga for a couple of years and I had trepidation for going into a yoga studio to practice amongst different people that were probably more experienced than me. Um, but eventually a studio opened up near where I lived. I've been practicing a little bit on my own and then a studio opened up. So finally I had the courage to try an in-studio class. I took a friend with me who also practiced yoga. And so I immediately was drawn to the practice. I wasn't one of those people who it took time for it to settle in. I was immediately drawn to it. And it went from, for me, a practice of once a week to very quickly, twice a week, three times a week to every day. And then eventually, although I had been drawn into the practice for the physical part of it, I eventually started to notice the benefits to me mentally, spiritually, emotionally. And then eventually I started to feel that stillness for a few minutes after class, then for the day that I had practiced yoga, and then eventually that feeling stayed with me and it stays with me for most of the time. So once I recognized what yoga did for me and how it transformed my life, I took my first teacher training program and was practicing in Bonn, but then I started to find that what I needed was not available in Bonn. I was driving downtown for yoga practice. Uh, and then eventually I decided, okay, it's time for us to open in a studio in Vaughan with experienced teachers um, in, a, in a comfortable, safe environment. And I had a co-founder at the time. And so we decided that was the idea for Yoga Light Studio. I was still practicing law at the time, uh, but about a year into operating the studio, I decided to take a leave of absence from practicing law. During the exact same month, my co-founder decided to pursue other opportunities. And so I took over the studio and I've been operating the studio on my own ever since then. Wow, that's so awesome. And and when, when did you first open up the studio? We opened in 2016, January 2016. So we're going on six years. That's awesome. And I know that the first few years are typically for a new business venture. It's a really, really challenging time. Um, tell us about that initial uh, few years while you're establishing, getting that community going and getting, getting the business up and running. Yeah, so we were really lucky to have really experienced teachers on board right from the get-go. So that really helped us. But the beginning is always about finding your footing and you know what, it, what you're most authentically able to offer. And so it's building the studio, it's word of mouth, it's having students come and then like some classes are two or three people, eventually those classes turn into 30 people. So um, it just it's just a matter of time, I think. Amazing, amazing. And just coming from like a, a law background, uh, you know, that's that's a super high stress sort of job there. And I, and I could see, you know, how yoga is, is almost like the polar opposite. Tell us about sort of what, like what that did for you uh, in, in your life, in, in your well-being and, and as far as your stress levels and managing that. I think eventually over time, yoga will change you mentally and emotionally. So it'll help you find that stillness really in any situation. So whether it be through um, in my career or whatever I was managing, and then also in your day-to-day -day life, we all experience those different stresses, right? That, you know, not just your work life. And then of course, during the pandemic. So having a strong, consistent yoga practice helps you find that stillness, helps you stay present and really helps you accept what is. So the lessons that you learn on your mat can really carry over into your day-to-day -day life, including operating a business. Cool, right? 100%. And I know, you know, the last year and a half, almost two years now have been just super, super challenging uh, with, you know, the whole situation with the pandemic and the forced closures. And I think for just like a lot of businesses, the ability and the willingness to just pivot 
and to try something different. So for example, we had been thinking about going online or offering some of our services online, but we're never really forced to do it. And I never thought that really there would be um, a benefit for it because we were doing so well with our in-studio offerings. But then obviously when you're forced to close and you no longer have that ability to offer in-studio um, classes, we immediately pivoted and we started off with Instagram classes like a lot of other studios did, but quickly realized that the pandemic wasn't going to be for two weeks. So we quickly transitioned into offering um, online classes. And obviously Instagram isn't economically feasible to continue for a long period of time. I know that you guys are, are doing the virtual thing and, and mm -hmm. doing the virtual classes. And there's some other tools that, that Wellness Living was able to kind of bring to the table to help you. How that was challenging at first because it is change and everyone's afraid of you know change and kind of stepping in there into the unknown and doing it so tell us how that experience was for you we were forced to offer the virtual because we had no other choice but then immediately we recognized that although it's not the same as being in a studio you still do have that connection with your instructor because there were during the pandemic a lot of free offerings that students could get to yoga classes, whether that be on Instagram or other, you know, some of the bigger names were offering free classes, but our students wanted our instructors. And so what we did was we offered the online classes and we tried to keep our schedule the same as what we were offering in the studio, um, like in terms of the same times and the same teachers teaching the same types of classes so that participants could stay on their regular routine. And then we always made sure that at the beginning of class, there was still a little bit of that socialization that you have when you're in a studio, like vis-a-vis -vis, or as between the instructor and the student, but then also with the class participants, a lot of our participants would turn their uh, microphones on. And then at the end of class also, again, talking to the students, getting feedback from the students to just maintain as much as we could of that connection that you get from being in a studio. Yeah. And now we've kept that up too. We've kept our online classes going. That's amazing. And what, what percentage of your business do you think is, is in person and versus the virtual stuff? If you'd have to put it in. So I would say it's hard to assign a percentage now that we just reopened, but I would say the majority is still very much in studio. But even for those um, for those class participants that are coming in studio, they will still um, also practice with us online. So they're not mutually exclusive. So what our students found was that they could practice some of them more with the online offerings because they could have their in-studio classes. And then on those days where they couldn't make it into the studio for whatever reason, scheduling, et cetera, they could still practice with us online. So it's actually helped them as well and it's helped us. And, and I know that you know early on in the pandemic when, when we noticed business owners like yourselves moving to virtual um, we we wanted to make that experience for you guys as easy as possible so we did do that direct integration with zoom uh, now we have uh, something called fit live which further builds on that uh, we also have fit fit on demand uh, which is our video hosting library where you can actually now uh, after that zoom session automatically save that that class to the uh, fit Vid uh, on-demand library so folks that have missed the session or you know want to do it again for whatever reason they have that that uh, access to that particular class on demand i know wellness living is a really all-in-one business management solution tons of functionality what sort of features would you say are those features that you kind of count on regularly and you really really enjoy using what i found with wellness living in comparison to our prior software is how intuitive it is so it's just, it's so simple to use. And I've never, I don't think I've ever once had to look something up. So I just can basically turn on the software and figure out uh, what I need to do just by, um, you know, the icons at the top and the icons on the side. So I think that's my favorite thing. Obviously I'm grateful for the ability to live stream through um, Wellness Living and the fact that it automatically um, connects to Zoom and sends me the Zoom link, et cetera. So that obviously I appreciate very much, but overall it's just how intuitive the software is. That's my favorite thing. That's awesome. Yeah, I know that we spend so much time really optimizing the software as far as usability goes. And we have a team of, of amazing UX UI designers. And it's really, really amazing to hear that. Going back to some of your classes, tell us some, some of the classes that you guys are offering. So we offer a variety of different styles. So we'll offer some of the traditional styles like Ashtanga Yoga and Hatha Yoga. We offer Hot Yoga. 
We give a lot of liberty to our teachers to also create their own classes. So their sequences can be very creative. We don't have any restrictions there. We are known for our more challenging classes. I think within Vaughan and the GTA, we have some teachers who really push our students. So we do attract students who want to grow their practice. But then we have the other end of it as well. We have um, two or three teachers that really specialize in just offering functional type of classes. We have a class called Functional Yoga and Mobility and another class called Strength and Mobility. So we created those class titles to specifically um, to be more specific as to what those teachers are offering. We offer teacher trainings as well. We offer workshops, specialty classes. So I think you can find almost anything at the studio. Hot yoga, non-heated. That's awesome. Yeah, I know yeah. when you mentioned restorative yoga, I think that's the one I'm gonna try out. For. Okay, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I need some restoration yoga. Okay. So, so Nancy, tell us about the next two, three years. Where do you guys see your studio growing and your business growing? Uh, what, are, what are your plans for the future? So I almost feel like we're starting, it feels as though like our first year of opening, how it feels right now. It feels so much, feels so new uh, to us, like with the online offerings and with the reduced class sizes and the fact that we need to bring everyone back to like the pre-pandemic levels. So I think for the next, maybe in the next six months, we're looking at just building back. And then in terms of the next two or three years, a lot of what um, we're focusing right now on is more of the specialty classes and the teacher training. So that's what we're looking to continue to build I think for us. So Nancy, it was, it was so awesome to, uh, to chat with you today. I was so amazing talking with you and hearing your story. Uh, if anyone is out there in Vaughan, Ontario, Canada, and you got to check out Nancy Yoga Light Studio. And from coming from a former lawyer turned <laughs> yoga teacher, amazing story. I love it. So definitely check check Nancy out. Uh, and also, don't forget to like and subscribe this video for amazing content like this. Uh, you know, I love doing these CEO tours. It just always puts a smile on my face. So guys, farewell, and, and see you on the next episode. Thanks for having us. It was great talking to you.